Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony from Tony's Guitar Hangout, and now with a two camera setup. <laughs> Right back from 42 Gear Street. So, Gear Street. Well, loads of fun, loads of cool companies, loads of gear, loads of work, loads of crazy, really crazy YouTubers, and just one Henning Pauly that was organizing the event. To be fair, it was all Michiel. So, what was going on on Gear Street 5? We had a couple of companies there. And this one was the first year where we had three microphone companies on the event. Sennheiser, Shure and of course Lewitt. There were 25 YouTubers that were collaborating and shooting videos on guitars from Maybach, PJD, Ortega, and I've been shooting pedal videos from Eventide. And as amp manufacturers, there was Blackstar and Orange. Adam Hall helped us out with a lot of cool accessories and t-shirts. As well as the guys from Combo Audio, which shot a lot of cool videos with the YouTubers. So type in on Instagram, on YouTube, or on your favorite social media platform, the hashtag 42GS5FIVE, so that you're not missing out any of the videos that happened on the event or that were shot on the event. And if you're curious, I made the vlogs for Henning's channel, so check them out. Just enjoy a little bit the vibe of the event, which is really great. Thanks again to Henning, to Leslie, to Michiel for the organization, as well as to the whole team for doing a hell of a job. And of course, also to the YouTubers for being at the event. Thanks for having me on this event and letting me be part of this great family. With the Strymon Deco plugin, you have the access to all the Strymon Deco controls, which you have on the normal pedal within the flexible DAV environment. For starters, the plugin has two operating modes, the normal mode and the studio mode. Like the pedal, the tape saturation and the double tracker sections are independent for each other. But there are a few added features that encourage you to use more instances of the plugin. The Deco plugin is currently available directly through the homepage of Strymon and is priced at 79 euros. Let's hope that it will be soon available through your favorite retailer. UA brings out a bunch of new pedals, four new pedals, a tape delay, a compressor and two reverbs. What I'm wondering about is why they didn't appear on Gear Street because that would have been a great chance to give, I don't know, maybe 25 YouTubers at the same time their pedals to check them out and see what results of the videos would come out. I think that would be a great opportunity and if someone from UA sees that right now, maybe you should sign up for next year, it would be a good chance to promote your stuff like in a very efficient way. Back to the four pedals and let's start with the tape echo. Most of the controls on the pedals seem pretty obvious, except of the wonk control. The wonk controls for what is described by UA as modulated repeats and YB tape splice sounds. The 1176, UA's very, 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 very famous compressor gets a new facelift. 1967 invented with the class A design, the compressor now comes in a pedal format. This pedal seems pretty intuitive, no special controls on here. The Heavenly Plate reverb gives you the sounds of the 1950s German Studio reverbs. It has a selectable vintage bright, vintage dark and modern full plate reverb setting, along with the controls for mod, pre-delay and EQ. And finally, the Evermore Studio reverb offers grainy ambient trails and modulations based on the late 70s vintage digital hardware. 
This one has room, small hall and large hall reverbs that are a bit for a bit emulations of the 70s technology. What you can expect is some grid and vintage correct bass, middle and treble decay controls. This Friedman JEL20 is a brand new release for the guitarist Jake E. Lee and comes in a striking red Tolex finish with white piping and matching 1x12 cabinet as well. On Gear Street 2 or 3 I think we had the bigger brother like the 100 Jake E. Lee Friedman something which sounded really decent. The amp has controls for gain, master volume, bass, middle and treble along with the gain control with a push-pull high-low gain voicing. It has a plexi channel which shares a 3-band EQ with the JEL channel but it has its own independent gain and master volume control plus a bright switch. The amp has also a camp simulated XLR out and the ultra transparent effects loop which Friedman amps are famous for. For about 2000 euro this could be your amp. The matching JEL 1x12 cap is made out of Baltic birch and is a closed cabinet design. It has a single 12 inch G12 M65 cream back 16 ohm speaker and it's rated at 65 watts. And for everybody who's searching for new guitar pedals which you can replace amp with, here's the Ampworks pedals from TC Electronics. The Ampworks Dual Rack which is kinda a simulation of the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. The Ampworks Jim's 800, which is an homage to the famous JCM 800 from Marshall. And the Ampworks 550, which is basically an emulation of the 5150. So the amp that uh, Eddie Van Halen always used to create this one for me. So This was my week in gear and I hope to see you next time. I'm on holidays now so one week off for me and then we'll meet back on this channel on Tony's Guitar Hangout.